This video is for boats partaking in Escort 4 of the Magna Carta 800 event. If you are unsure as to which section of the event you are entered for, please refer to your ICI and look at the Relay section. Boats for Escort 3 and Escort 4 can arrive at Cookham Reach Sailing Club on Friday afternoon. They can be removed from their trailers and left in the compound. They can also arrive early on Saturday, in which case please get the boats launched as quickly as possible. All trailers should be moved to Runnymede to the trailer park. The plan is to get you all launched down through Cookham Lock to Cliveden where you'll wait, have a picnic, see escorts 1 and 2 pass you and then you become the river relay. Please don't wait at the sailing club and try to join the other boats. You may get locked out and miss the whole event. By 12 noon, please leave the sailing club and row down to Cookham Lock. Please note that 12 noon is the latest time you should leave. Ideally you should leave earlier and you are welcome to do so. Transit the lock and row on down to Cliveden House. Man-powered boats should moor off the bank upstream of the pontoon. Motorised boats should moor on the bank downstream of the little boathouse. Raft out if necessary. No boats should moor on the pontoon as we'll need it for the charter flotilla. Please note, if rafting out is required, boats of escort 4 should be nearest the bank and boats of Escort 3 should be on the outside of the rafts. By 2pm you should be boated and waiting afloat. Man-powered boats upstream of the pontoon, motorised boats downstream of the pontoon. Please wave to the boats of Escort 1 and 2 as they pass and make their way downstream to Datchet. At approximately 2.30, Queen's Row Barge Gloriana will arrive and will moor temporarily so VIPs can board. At 3.15, the Gloriana will depart and Escort 3 will leave with her. You should remain on your mooring. The Charter Flotilla will arrive around 3.30 and will moor on the pontoon. The Charter Flotilla will depart at approximately 4 o'clock and will be accompanied by Escort 4 at this point. Motorised boats of Escort 4 will lead the Charter Flotilla, staying approximately 50 metres in front. Man-powered boats of Escort 4 will follow the Charter Flotilla. Passage down to Bolter's Lock. As many boats as possible should transit the lock with the charter flotilla. Depart the lock, passage downstream and please salute the crowds as you pass. The charter flotilla will briefly moor at Bridge Gardens but you should keep going under the road bridge and railway bridge and onto the lock. All craft should continue downstream and join the queue at Bray Lock. After Bray Lock, passage down to Oakley Court Hotel and more as directed. Some motorised craft may be asked to return to Bray Marina or go down to Windsor Marina if required. Smaller craft can be brought ashore on the downstream end of the moorings. A minibus will be available to take drivers only back to Cookham. The crews will have to wait on the lawns of Oakley Court. That concludes events on the Saturday and we will now turn to addressing events for the Sunday. On Sunday the 14th of April the objective is to get you and your boats down to Runnymede safely and quickly to commence the parade of boating. By 8 o'clock you should be boated and in groups of like size and style of boat, passage down to Bovney Lock and transit. 
As you round the bend at Windsor Racecourse, be aware of the buoyed course for the Windsor Triathlon over on your starboard or right side. You must be line astern of each other and pass down the navigation channel. There will be a large number of swimmers in the river. Please take great care. Row down under Eaton Bridge and on to Romney Lock. Please make sure you fill the lock, transit and row on downstream. Row on down through Datchet, catching up the late boats leaving from there. Arrive at Old Windsor Lock and transit the lock. Come out of the lock and proceed downstream. When you reach the buoyed course, proceed line astern down the course. You are now part of the parade of boating. Please acknowledge the crowds on the Runnymead banks as they have come to see you. Please keep an eye on the time. As the guidance notes say, approaching one o'clock and it's time to get into your position for the grand spectacle of the arrival of King John. All motorised craft should now seek a mooring if possible on Runnymede Meadows, which are indicated here by the purple lines. The finale row pasts are row pasts and will not include any motorised craft. If it is not possible for the motorised craft to moor as indicated, you should proceed downstream of the Runnymede Pleasure Ground and moor on the orange moorings as shown here. By 1pm, man-powered craft should be making their way upstream to the weir stream below Old Windsor Lock, where you will await the charter flotilla or Gloriana. Small boats, skiffs, canoes, etc. should wait nearest the lock. Larger boats, cutters, gigs, etc. should proceed further up the weir stream, upstream of the smaller boats. You should now listen carefully for instruction from the river marshals. As the charter flotilla emerges from Old Windsor Lock, the small boats should take up position astern of them and continue rowing downstream back towards Runnymede. When you see the charter flotilla nearing the bend at the Runnymede pleasure ground, listen for the order, escort flotilla, easy oars. At this point you should stop rowing and hold water. You will then receive the command Escort Flotilla, Salute to Magna Carta, Toss Oars. You should bring your oars to vertical and give three cheers to the Barons of Old England. When you hear Escort Flotilla, Lower Oars, Ready to Row, Row. This is your signal to move off and find a gap in the boats or along the bank indicated by the purple lines. You should moor up here and wait for the arrival of Gloriana and King John. The larger boats which are still waiting in the weir stream should listen for instructions from the river marshal. As Gloriana exits Old Windsor Lock and rows downstream the larger boats should take position astern of Gloriana and continue rowing back towards Runnymede. When you see the Gloriana nearing the bend at Runnymede Pleasure Ground, you should listen for the order, escort flotilla, easy oars. At this point, you should stop rowing and hold water. When you hear the command, escort flotilla, salute to the Royal Barge, toss oars, you should bring your oars to vertical and give three cheers to King John of Old England. That concludes the main part of the event and thank you all very much for your participation. It's now important that the area is cleared as quickly and as safely as possible. Those that can, please row away to home moorings. Those that do not have local home moorings, please moor up using the beach area, shown here as the pink moorings, and prepare to recover your boats to trailers via the slipway. Motorised craft 
should raft up on the orange moorings until such time as they are able to leave the area. Finally, please work together with the marshals to get your boats away from the area. Please take your time to ensure that the day is completed safely. And thank you very much again for all of your efforts.